Hey, it's Kevin with Smart Scalpers. This is my weekly vlog where I share with you on how I make money buying and selling tickets and try to help you make money buying and selling tickets. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about credit cards, how we use them um, to grow our business, um, how we honestly need them to be able to buy specific shows, um, and how we manage them. Um, before I jump in, I want to share a quick su success story with you. Uh, we had a new member to our 100K club. I'm not sure if you've watched the video before or any of our videos, but we have two clubs, the Million Dollar Club. That broker would, would be a member of that club. Once they do a million dollars in revenue over 12 months, and then the 100K club, that broker would be a member of that club once they do at least 100,000 in profit over 12 months. Um, we have several brokers that are members of that club, and uh, we have a new one that joined that club this week. Congratulations to her. She, uh, she's only been doing it about a year and a half, um, and she's just done really well, and um, it's exciting to to welcome her to that club. We set up those two clubs just so we could celebrate those people and our team could also help celebrate and congratulate those people. Um, all right, so credit cards. Uh, you know, in the ticket business, credit cards are necessary. Um, I, I say that with like a cringe because, um, you know, credit cards can really get, get you in trouble in life and in business. And I think people accept debt as a part of business, and it shouldn't be that way. People accept debt as a part of your personal finances, and it shouldn't be that way. Um, you know, I'm not going to get Dave Ramsey on you guys. If you know Dave, he's he's a really smart and um, well-known uh, advocate against debt. Um, but he, he there's a lot of good principle in the stuff that he shares, and um, the the money that you can save people. Just do not think about the money that they're spending when they borrow money. And it's real money. What I mean is, is if you don't borrow it or if you can find a way to not borrow it, that money is in your pocket. And I'll, I'll do a quick example and move on. Today, if you buy a house at the current interest rate and do a traditional 30-year loan, and let's just say you buy a half a million dollar home, that home is going to end up costing you over a million dollars. Yes, out of your pocket. I know it's, it sounds like an impossible thing to do to save half a million dollars, but if you could possibly find a way to do that, save $500,000 and pay cash for that house, that other half a million dollars that you would have spent is in your pocket. It's like real money. There's no, there's not many investments out there that are gonna give you that kind of return. And so, I mentioned that to say, hey, you have to be really smart with debt, with credit cards and how you manage the credit cards for your ticket business. And so, number one, always pay the statement balance. It's so important. That's like, you know, Susan handles all our money here at our company. She does a, a fantastic job. She's been doing, handling money for 40 plus years for huge companies and she's really, really good. And one thing that we always say is pay the statement balance of a credit card. And so the state, if you pay the statement balance, you're not gonna have any interest. Um, we are using credit cards daily and sometimes we have to pay the credit cards weekly, not monthly because we have used all the space of the credit. So if we have a credit card that has, let's say 15,000 of a credit limit, we may spend 9000 this week. Well, we're going to need to spend another 9000 next week, and that would go beyond the credit limit. So we pay on that credit card. We'll pay 6000 even though it's not due for another month, just to release more credit availability. Um, but if we are paying a credit card that's due, we will always pay the statement balance. And so try to do that. It's very important to not pay any interest. Um, so with the ticket business, there are specific credit cards that allow you to get access to 
to, to tickets early to the pre-sale. Um, a couple that I'll just uh, mention is City Cards um, and Amex, American Express Cards. Uh, so if you're going to do the ticket business, you definitely want to have those cards. Uh, can you do the ticket business with just a debit card? Yes, you can, but it's going to be really difficult because you will not have access to these to these shows or to these pre-sales. Um, now, there's credit cards out there that will give you points that will have different benefits like um, air miles. This is just my opinion. So I'm going to share with you guys how I feel about us for our business. I don't want any credit card that gives you fuel points, air miles, uh, you know, dis discounts on movies, furniture, clothes. I want money. I want one, two, and three points. And um, and there's there are cards out there that will offer like three points and sometimes four points, um, but it's on specific things like Amazon purchases. Like you know you get four points on this credit card, but if you read the fine print, it's four points when you use the card at Amazon or if you use the points at Regal Cinema or use the card at Regal Cinemas. Um, but then if you use it on an everyday purchase, it's two points. Um, and then there is a couple cards that will offer three points and two points for entertainment. And a lot of the stuff that we buy is considered entertainment. The category of tickets is entertainment. Um, and so you can, you can definitely go after that card. I will say that those typically don't last long for for at least for us, um, an example of that is the saver card. We've gotten that card. I've gotten it. I think Aaron has gotten two, and Olivia has also gotten one. And we've gotten several months, almost maybe a year, out of using it and getting that three percent. But those things get canceled because I think they see the activity. A normal person, you know, family using a credit card for entertainment may be five hundred bucks a month, um, but we were doing like 10,000, 15,000 a month. And they're like, no, we can't, we can't keep giving these people 3% on this. Um, and so they canceled it. And so look for those credit cards that are going to give you cash points. You want money. Um, and that you'll be surprised how quick that adds up. We have a little thing here in our office where I'll ask Susan to let me know when it gets, when all our cards the, uh, the the redemption gets to ten thousand um, dollars, and then we'll we'll pull that ten thousand out. I'll usually say I'll ask Aaron. I'm like, hey man, Susan's redeeming all our points. What do you want to do with this this money? There have been situations where it kind of it filled a gap for us. Maybe the 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 ten thousand paid off something or paid for something. Um, and if you can really grow your business up. Um, it, it could do some pretty cool things, like maybe pay the rent on your building for a year. And so technically, your 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 space is free. Um, you know, possibly you could pay the salary of your administrative person if you can spend the the, the money wisely and get fifty thousand dollars in um, annual cash back. That can pay the salary for your um, administrative person. So be be really smart with that part of it and using it as much as, as possible and paying the statement balance. Do not let any interest hit you. Um, some of our new brokers, and I've done this too, will go after credit cards that are uh, 10 month, 12 month, even I've seen 16 month, no interest. Um, and that's really good if you're ramping up your, your business. If you have zero dollars in sales and you're like, okay, I don't have a ton of capital. I don't have much cash. Let's just say you have $5,000 in cash and that's really all your money. I've been there. Um, you don't want to just start slinging that on tickets when you've never done the business before. Um, and so our brokers will will go out there and get, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, interest-free or 12 months no interest credit cards. And those credit cards will allow you to to put, um, to charge stuff on it and you don't have to pay it off for until 12 months. Now, 
there's usually no cash back and the the the, the total um, credit limit is kind of low so you might get one that's like seventy five hundred dollars 12 months no interest well once you get to seventy five hundred dollars you can't put any more on it unless you make payments on it and so you can be really smart with that use the seventy five hundred dollars maybe get some sales coming in pay three thousand on it that gives you another three thousand to buy and if you have you know two or three or four or five of those credit cards you really can do some pretty cool things and and grow your business wisely keep an eye on that 12 month deadline we we uh we if you don't pay it off in that deadline i think they charge you interest for all the 12 12 months could be wrong you know it's a lot of fine print that none of us ever want to read. I certainly don't like reading like the four pages of fine print. Um, so be careful there. Be sure you're watching that deadline and you have that card paid off. So that's my um, information on um, credit cards for your, your ticket business. Um, if you want to reach out to me and you want to chat more about um, specific cards that we use, um, you also guys can can check into um, uh, what's it, they're called they're like uh, um, pre um, credit cards that um, you put money on I don't know what those things are card but you can go like to Walmart and Walmart has their gift card um, aisle and it has all like the restaurants and the clothing stores but then they have just these credit cards and it's like um, Amex and it's like $50 Amex card, you go to the register and it costs you like $53. Well, you can also do those. Sometimes those will work. I think they're like prepaid cards. Um, check those out. So if you need to, if you don't have an Amex, but you want to participate in an Amex pre-sale, I think those still work. You can even put like $500 on those things and use that. So check that out too. I don't have a ton of information about that. It's been years since we've, we've done that. And I think those still work. Um, that, that could be an option too. So I appreciate you guys watching this video again. Um, I um, encourage you to be really smart with your money overall, not just in your ticket business, but personally. Um, it, will, it, will, uh, it will really be good for your financial life if you try to avoid debt as much as possible. Um, again, reach out to us. Our number here at our office is 762-222-1300. Uh, that's our office number. Um, you can just kick my extension and it rings my cell phone. I'd be happy to chat with you. Um, you can email me, kevin at eliteeventsusa.com. That's K-E-V-I-N at sign E-L-I-T-E-E-V-E-N-T-S-U-S-A.com. Thank you for watching. Um, and hope to hear from you.